All right, well, let's continue this conversation with our ABC News political contributors. That's former Democratic Senator of North Dakota, Heidi Heitkamp. Also, former Trump administration official, Sarah Isker. All right, Heidi, let's uh, start with you. Your reaction to Biden's speech. Does he have what it takes to just continue on from now to 2024? Boy, he sure showed that he has what it takes yesterday. I mean, for him to stand and just give a speech, everybody's listening. Is he slipping? Is he saying the right words? When he could have that dialogue back and forth with the opposition party and they were angry and he was smiling and having fun, I think it was bad optics for them, uh, good optics for him, and I think he's uh, riding a high today. I want to mention this about Mitt Romney, though. He is an elder statesman of the Republican Party, and he sees a lack of leadership right now within the House Republicans in dealing with the George Santos thing. He saw George Santos, he probably reacted emotionally, but that was stru structured so that a senior member of the Republican Party was saying, you don't get to claim any allegiance to our party and to us. You are not somebody who should be here. So and I thought it was smart on Matt's part. It, and, it, and it does get to a big issue for Republicans, and I'd like to ask Sarah about this. You know, we saw Kevin McCarthy there, up right behind the president, his new role as Speaker of the House. And he tried it several times while they were heckling and catcalling. And at one point, apparently, somebody yelled BS. And you saw him trying to calm them down. I wonder, Sarah, do the Republicans have a tone problem? Are they stuck in 2017 where it's kind of sneering and contemptuous forever? I mean, that's working in Republican primaries right now, and it's been very successful for a lot of these candidates. Um, you know, I, I think that there were two very interesting things that happened last night. One, actually, I totally agree with Senator Heitkamp that uh, the the fascinating thing that Joe Biden was able to accomplish is to establish that he could give as good as he got uh, and did it with humor and quickness that I think he really needed to show last night, and he did. But also, it really highlighted this debate in the Republican Party over Social Security is just sort of this example, this metaphor almost. Obviously, Senator Rick Scott of Florida, who was running the Senate campaigns for the Republicans, is the one who floated the idea of sunsetting pieces of legislation, which obviously would have to include Social Security and Medicare. He was shut down by Mitch McConnell and a lot of other people in the party, and that's what Joe Biden used. So it was kind of a vindication of the Mitch McConnell wing. And when you saw Kevin McCarthy and all those Republicans stand, uh, you know, it A, takes cutting Social Security off the table, but B, there's not a lot of ways to balance the budget without talking about Social Security and Medicare, which are the two biggest ticket items in our spending. And that, that is going to be a tough problem for both parties, and they're going to have to work together at, at some point on getting the debt under control. But a uh, point scored for Joe Biden, I think, last night. That was a neat little bit of of uh, oratory. They're getting everybody in the in the in the Congress to stand up and agree with them. Uh, Sarah, Heidi, thanks very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.